mesmerizing video shows waves of spinal fluid washing over the brain of the human during sleep. So I can imagine if we don't sleep, that means that our brain is not, not washed over by spinal fluid, which is obviously for it to be taking place. It should be happening. It's a necessity for health. This is by David Neal on Science Alert. We're literally having our brains washed every night. That is, whenever we're sleeping. This is what neuroscientists have now produced fascinating videos showing this. It's a nocturnal pulsing process. This is uh, by uh, uh, Boston University. The waves of watery uh, cerebrospinal fluid, CSF, flows over our brains. This is the latest study showing pulsing rhythmically while we're, of course, sleeping, at the same time clearing out any toxins that should be building up inside our heads. The team behind this new research says the findings could help in the study of various neurological and psychological disorders, especially those having to do with disrupted sleep patterns. Laura Lewis, the neuroscientist from Boston University, says we've known for quite a while that there are these electrical waves of activity in the neurons, but before now we did not realize that there were actually waves in the cerebral uh, spinal fluid as well. They say it could help us in the study of various neurological and psychological disorders. Past studies suggest that the CSF is important for waste removal from the brain, but until now scientists did not know about this pulsing action or were even able to see it as they are able to now. In combination with slow wave brain activity, partly for fixing our memories in place, and the decrease in blood flow that happens while we sleep, these CSF waves look to be washing out unnecessary proteins and other redundant debris. As slow brain wave frequencies drop as we get older, the new study could help with research into normal age-related problems along with specific disorders. Scientists' work also means that it's now possible to tell if someone is sleeping or not just by analyzing the CSF patterns in the brain scan. It's such a, a dramatic effect, said Lewis. CSF pulsing was something we did not know happened at all. And now we can just glance at one brain region, immediately have a readout if the brain state, so, uh, of the brain state that someone is in. For the purpose of the study, 13 subjects of ages 23 to 33 were monitored while sleeping with an MRI scan. Future research could look at older subjects as well, trying to spot deterioration in the process as we get older. Another improvement for follow-up studies, researchers say, could be finding ways to eliminate the MRI scan. The noise it makes is not terribly conductive to sleep. One remaining question is, how exactly CSF brainwaves and blood flow are getting into sync so effectively? It could be that neurons shut down for the night, they don't need that much blood, and as the blood drains out, pressure in the brain is maintained by the influx of the CSF. And Lewis says that's just one possibility. What are the casual links? Is one of these processes causing the others? Or is some other hidden force that's driving all of them? This has been published in Science and it's on Science Alert. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity,
because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.